Hello and welcome to your full body yoga flow. Today's 25 minute practice includes a gentle hatha sequence for all levels. Let's begin by coming into a kneeling position, hips over the heels. If this is comfortable for you, otherwise come into a cross-legged seat. And we'll begin by drawing the shoulders up towards the ears and down the back a few times. So just shrugging the shoulders up and then letting the shoulders fall down. And then we'll switch directions, drawing your circles the opposite way. And taking nice deep breaths. And then let your shoulders relax down. Reach your arms out wide and up overhead, palms touch. Exhale, draw your hands to your heart center. Again, sweep the arms up, palms touch. And exhale, interlace your fingers, palms face away from you. Push your arms forward, drop your chin towards your chest. Inhale, reach the arms up, lengthen through the sides, and then exhale, side bend to the right. Back through center, side bend to the left. Come back through center, and then interlace your fingers into a fist behind your back. Draw your fists down towards the ground, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then lift your heart. And we'll repeat this two more times. Interlace your fingers in front of you, flip your palms away from you, round through your upper back, chin to chest. Inhale, reach your arms up, lengthen through your spine, and exhale, bend to the right. Back through center and bend to the left. Come back through center and then interlace your fingers into a fist behind your back. Draw the shoulders down and back. Lift the head and the heart. Good. One more time here on your own. Pushing the palms away, chin to chest. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Side bend to the right and side bend to the left. Interlace your fingers and open your heart. Now keep your fingers interlaced, draw your fist over towards your outer left hip. Hug your left elbow in and drop your left ear to your left shoulder, getting a stretch along the right side of your neck. Now switch sides, bringing your fist over towards the outside of your right hip and drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Hug your right elbow in, feeling the stretch all the way down the left side of your neck. Take one more breath and slowly release. Plant your hands coming through tabletop pose. We'll take a few rounds of cat cows here, moving at your own pace. So begin to connect your movement to your breath, inhaling to lift the heart and exhaling to round. Feel the sensations of the stretch along your spine, your back. Breathing into your belly. Take one last round and then come back to a neutral spine. Inhale your left arm up for a twist. Gaze up at your fingertips and release your left hand back down. Inhale the right arm high. Breathe. Release your right hand down. Inhale the left arm back up. 
and then use your core to lift yourself up coming into a half camel left hand can rest on your low back or if it feels good your left hand can rest on your left heel reach the right arm up overhead and then release your right hand back down left arm high towards the sky place your left hand down reach your right arm high for a twist and again engage your core lift yourself up coming up into your half camel right hand to your low back or right hand to right heel take a full breath in your back bend and then release place your left hand to the ground and reach your right arm high place your right hand back down walk both hands forward to come into melting heart pose relaxing your chest your forehead feeling the stretch in the chest and the shoulders releasing your forearms completely to the ground and lower down into sphinx pose releasing your hips to the floor Pressing down into the forearms, lift your chest, gaze ahead of you. And then lower all the way down to the ground, come into open wings, bring the left arm out wide, right hand to the mat, roll yourself over onto the left side of your body. Keep the legs stacked or maybe right foot comes behind you. Take three deep breaths. Slowly roll back onto your belly and we'll switch sides. Bring the right arm out wide. Use your left palm to roll onto the right side of your body. Stay here with the legs stacked or maybe your top foot reaches behind you. Deep belly breath. Roll back onto your belly, come up into a baby cobra, hug the elbows in, lift your heart. And exhale to slowly release. Again, inhale for your cobra. And exhale, release. Coming up into your upward facing dog, press down into the palms, roll the shoulders back. And as you exhale, shift back into your downward dog. Begin to pedal out through your feet, bending one knee at a time to stretch through the backside body. And then settle into stillness, pressing your heels down towards the ground. Shift your gaze forward and make your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale to fold. Inhale for a standing back bend. Sweep the arms up, high palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart. Again, inhale, standing back bend. Open your heart. And exhale, fold all the way down. Halfway lift. Plant your hands. Step your left foot back into warrior one. Sweep the arms up. Gaze straight ahead of you. Find eagle arms. Bring your left arm underneath and around your right arm. Squeezing the arms together. Lifting the elbows up in line with your shoulders. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, fold forward, coming into a humble warrior variation, keeping the eagle arms. Take one more breath. Root down through your feet and lift yourself all the way back up. 
opening up into warrior two, bring your arms out wide into cactus, bending the elbows. Reverse warrior, shift your weight back, left hand comes to your left leg, right bicep to ear. Extended side angle. Reverse triangle, straighten through your right leg. Breathe into the right side body. Triangle pose. Half splits. Place your left hand down, spin on your back toes, drop your back knee down, straighten through your front leg. Take one more breath. Shift forward into low lunge, bending into your front knee, sweep your arms high, exhale cactus arms. Inhale, straighten the arms, reaching the fingertips up, and exhale for cactus. Again, inhale, and exhale. Release your hands down, framing your front foot. Come back through tabletop pose, and then find downward facing dog. Take a full breath here. Step your left foot forward, coming into your warrior one. Sweep the arms high. Relax your shoulders down. Finding your eagle arms. This time right arm comes underneath and around your left arm. Inhale to lift the elbows up. And then exhale for your humble warrior variation. Relax the crown of your head all the way down. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Two deep breaths. Slowly lift yourself back up. Opening up into your warrior two. Finding your cactus arms. Reverse warrior. Lean back. Moving with your breath, extended side angle. Reverse triangle. Triangle pose. Transitioning into half splits, place your right hand down, spin on your back toes, drop your back knee and straighten through your left leg. One more full breath. Lift yourself up for your low lunge, sweep the arms high. Moving with your breath, exhale to cactus the arms. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale. Once more on your own. Plant your hands down. Come back into your tabletop pose. 
and then come into a kneeling position, preparing to come into camel pose. You have the option for half camel here. We'll begin by bringing the hands to the lower back. Toes can be tucked or untucked. Hug the elbows in, push the hips forward, and then lean back. Stay here, or if it feels good, bring your hands to your heels. Keep lifting from the center of your heart. Two more breaths. When you're ready, slowly come all the way back up. Bring your hips back towards your heels and come into child's pose to rest. Coming back to the steady flow of your breath. Slowly lift yourself up, cross your ankles, and make your way all the way down onto your back. As you recline back, hug your knees into your chest and slowly shift your weight from side to side. Coming into reclined pigeon pose, release your left foot to the floor and cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Stay here with your foot on the floor or you can lift your foot up, interlace your fingers behind your leg for a deeper stretch. Close your eyes, relax your shoulders into the ground. Slowly extend your left leg, rooting down through your left heel. Hug your right knee into your chest and then come into a twist, bringing your right leg all the way over to the left side. Bring your right arm out wide and take two to three breaths. back through center, plant your right foot down, bending your right knee and cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Option to lift your foot here, breathing into the stretch. Begin to extend your right leg straight. Hug your left knee into your chest, taking a deep breath in, and as you exhale, come into your twist. Bring your left arm out wide. Deep belly breaths. Slowly bring your leg back to center. Hug both knees back in towards your chest. Give yourself one big hug. And then release your feet to the floor. Extend your legs out wide, coming into our final resting pose. 
Let your arms relax alongside your body. Eyes softly close. Enjoy your Shavasana and I'll call you back when it's time. Gently bring your awareness back to the space, back to your physical body, finding small movement in your fingers and toes, rolling wrists and ankles, maybe reaching the arms up overhead for a full body stretch. And taking your time when you're ready, slowly lift yourself up into a seated position. With your eyes still closed or your gaze soft, simply notice how you feel. Acknowledge yourself for making time to come on to your mat today. And as always, ending our practice with gratitude. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for this full body practice. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next class soon. For more yoga classes, meditations, and month-long courses, be sure to join me on my app where I post new ad-free classes every week. I hope to see you there. Thank you to FlexiSpot for sponsoring today's video. FlexiSpot is a company that offers a wide range of ergonomic products for your home and office. I've been a customer of theirs for almost three years now and absolutely love their standing desks. This desk featured is the E7 Premium Standing Desk. It comes with a keypad which makes it easy to adjust the height of the desk to your preference. The desk itself is sturdy and stable whether you're using it sitting or standing up. 
The unboxing and assembly process is also really easy. I was able to set mine up all by myself and you can even customize yours to your preferred color and size of the desktop and desk frame. You can even get optional add-on accessories like a cable management tray that gives you a clutter-free workstation or even an adjustable laptop stand. An adjustable standing desk is a great option for those who want to improve their overall posture and reduce the potential for back and neck pain. If you're interested in learning more about FlexiSpot and their products, be sure to click the link in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next class soon.